Okay, here at PT Precision Automotive, we've got another vehicle in, turbo diesel. Uh, it's got another EGR fault on this, in this particular car. It's got code P2413. These vehicles suffer from EGR problems, blocking the EGR valves. We see it from time to time on all makes and models of turbo diesel vehicles. Today, this has come in with one code. The EGR valve's not working to what it should be. Um, we remove this EGR control valve, and what we find inside is the EGR is completely blocked full of exhaust, exhaust gases, causing this motor not to be able to work within its function range. Therefore, it shoves on a code, car lacks performance and drivability. So what we'll do today is clean this valve out, remove these pipes, remove the manifold, clean that out as well with BG products. Also do a decarbon to this vehicle and do a oil and filter change as well. So we'll come back to this and hopefully by cleaning and servicing these areas that will remove the code and the customer will have drivability back in the car. So we'll come back to this after I've done those, code, those cleaning. Okay, then after quite some time cleaning up the EGR valve, which has come up like brand new again, spent some time cleaning that, removed the inlet manifold, cleaned a lot of the junk out of inside there. It's as best as we can get it as well, it's like new. Uh, cleaned the EGR exhaust pipe, that's cleaned all that junk out. Uh, we've got just a little bit of junk out of it, as you can see. That's just a sample of what we get out. That container is just our full chocker block full of carbon deposits. Okay, we've also removed that as best as we can out of down inside the inlet manifold. It's a bit hard to see down in there, but as you can see, it uh, blocks up pretty badly. And you get a lot of deposits left in it, so what we're going to do, I've cleaned it all out with this BG um, intake throttle cleaner. What I'm going to do now is just going to add up a BG um, engine flush which we put into the engine. I'll assemble all the manifold parts and the EGR valves and everything back together again. We'll get the car running again um, and then we're going to take it outside to do a, a decarbon, what we call a decarbon with a, a different BG product which we have running with the vehicle with the engine flush in it uh, and it'll, it'll run for about 45 minutes to an hour on that product um, and you'll see the outcome of that. There'll be a lot of uh, carbon and exhaust smoke from that and a lot of engine noises and stuff like that. You've got to be pretty particular about what you're doing on it because you can be a bit catastrophic if it all goes wrong but um, mostly not. It's, it's, uh, we've done this quite a lot of times and it's been very well, well done and uh, get a lot of results from it. So what we'll do, leave that there, come back once I've got it running, and we'll show you how to do the, uh, the decarbing side on, on the inlet manifold. Okay. Alright, so we've got the car all back together. Uh, we've run it outside because uh, this puts out a lot of fumes and a lot of exhaust smoke that comes out of it. What we've done is we've bypassed the fuel lines and we've put this canister in where the fuel lines would normally run from the fuel filter to the main diesel injection pump. What we run through it is be another BG product. It cleans your injectors, uh, your injector nozzles, tops of the cylinder, um, head and pistons. Uh, we'll run that through, run it right down, run it empty. That'll take about half an hour. Um, and then we'll reconnect the fuel lines and then we'll come back and we'll start doing the inlet manifold and that's a pretty serious clean. Uh, you'll notice the difference on this, but we'll start this up. It just starts and normally runs. So that'll normally run. You won't hear any noises, no, no change really different. It'll just run and suck all that fluid through. Um. Okay, yeah, so that, that's just a cleaning system that goes through for the injectors. And we'll come back once this is drained through and uh, we'll hook up the inlet manifold and you can have a look from there. Okay. okay, so we've done 
the injectors now. We've removed that machine off the car. Uh, I've now put in place the, uh, so the throttle body, the cylinder head, valves, EGR, this cleaner, this is another BG product. It'll do all of that and also run down through the exhaust system. It continues to work up the burn, so it will run down. If the car's got a particulate filter or a um, catalytic converter, it'll run down and continue to clean that catalytic converter or the particulate filter out as well long after it's run through the system so it's a high pressured since we've got six bar on this um, hooked up to a battery there's a uh, special adaption piece here um, that swirls the air going into it and also the mixture there's a injection nozzle which is a uh, there's a couple of different nozzles that you can choose to use uh, also to a, just a switching box you do 12 or 17 second intervals we alternate that through the, how the car's handling it. Um, we'll get that up and running and then let the fluid go through. It goes under very high pressure. Um, so I'll start the car up. Get the car running. You can hear the different noise coming through that. Is that um, adaption piece there in the inlet manifold. That's straight directly onto the throttle body. So I'll select 12 seconds in this. That'll pulse every 12 seconds to 3 seconds to throw the, throw the fluid through. Uh, we have to, it'll take a little while for that fluid to start injecting into it. It's got a long line there that runs through. This will run for about 45 to 50 minutes on just one of these cans. We might run two for it. Um, so then we do it. We can also adjust the, the throttle on the car maybe up to 1500 RPM, you don't really want to go too high, you just have to evaluate each car individually because they, uh, they, they run a lot differently, you hear knocks and things, all sorts of problems coming out, but we put a container in the back under the exhaust because what will happen once you see it running, so there's nothing in there now, but once it starts running you'll have so much smoke and emissions coming out of this car, it'll actually kill the grass, so we don't want to do that. But uh, we'll come back to it in a few moments and see when it's really running through and have a listen to how it's going. It'll, it'll make a massive difference to this engine. And then after this, it's finished, change the engine oil and filter the cars and an additive to the change the cars. Okay, as you can see here, it's only been going for about, what, Five 15, minutes, yeah, five 10. minutes I suppose, and already the junk is starting to come out out the back. The car is actually accepting this quite well. Um, we haven't up, sped up the idle at all. It's sitting on 800 RPM. It seems to be accepting it very well. I normally rattle and knock and carry on and you adjust the idle and the settings here accordingly. You've got to really know what you're doing and really listen to the car. So it's not about setting it up and walking away from it, you've got to be by the vehicle. Because if something's going on, you need to be ready to react. But, um, it's very well, so it's a nice change. We do a lot of these, and every car is different. You know, so, keep an eye on this, and uh, take some more videos so you can have a look. So, looks like it's doing it very well. You can hear the change in RPM, taking the mixture, then burning it off, and dumping a little bit more in. Quite well. Well, up. Everything's running well. Okay, so we've run two bottles of that manifold cleaner through here. It's taken a couple of hours to do so. There's been a lot of junk coming out through the exhaust. As you can see inside here, although we cleaned this before, but it looks absolutely brand new in there. So what I'll do is I'll put the, the turbo pipe back on and uh, take the car for a run down the street and we'll bring the vehicle back and change the engine oil and filter. You wait till you see what comes out of this oil. This oil will just run out like like water. It'll just be, have a whole heap of deposits put in that oil now. So we'll take it for a run. And there'll be a lot of junk coming out of this from this run.
okay, so I've taken the car for a good 15 minute drive down the road. Things going like a rocket now. It's much better than what it was previously going. Uh, I've put it up. We're going to drain the engine oil. Maybe use an extra wide catch can here because the oil that comes out of here is thinner than water, you know, when it's, it's all diluted like this. It's extremely hot, so just be careful. Um, remove the oil and change the filter as well. So basically running out and steaming in here. I, general diesel oil is very thick and gluggy. It's black as you can see all the deposits. Look at the steam coming out of that. Oh, smells dreadful as well. So we'll remove that engine oil, the filter, basically coming to the end of it all now. We put a 244 into the fuel tank as well. As long as the fuel tank's well over halfway, you know, we'll put that in. Otherwise, we'll get the customer to put it in with the full tank of fuel, and that'll help burn carbon deposits out through the exhaust and through the motor itself. So these products are only sold to the trade, these BG products. You can't buy them off the shelf. Um, basically, you need to know what you're doing to deal with them. Just the main manufacturers now are starting to come on board with these products in the last 12 months because they've seen the, the effects of these, these cars carboning up. It's not only on diesels but on um, petrols as well. Um, dealers like Jag and Audi, um, Mazda, Mitsubishi and that, the like are, are all starting to use these products now and seeing the benefits in it instead of having to replace very expensive components. So if this thing had an EGR problem, we'll uh, reset the computers and clear all codes and fault codes and we'll see how it goes after that. Because of the carbon build up in it, we, we may have to replace an EGR valve in this car, but uh, the customer will let us know that you know, within a few days or weeks if, it, if the light comes back on. But basically, maintenance is the issue. This car's only got 60,000 Ks on it. This needs to be done around 40. It's uh, something we're seeing all the time. And we'll put a few more videos up to, to show what we're finding in different makes. This is Mitsubishi, so we'll do a few Euro cars and stuff like that to show you as well. Alright, so that's it. No problems.